this segment, we're going to have a look at the way to prune apple trees. Each variety of apple will have different variations on the Solax theme. If you haven't watched the movie on the Solax tree shape, it's a good idea to have a look at it first. The Solax system, employing a strong central leader with 18 to 22 structural Solax branches, is the main system used in apple production, although it is not the only system used. Shoots growing from the central leader, as well as those growing on the base of the structural branches, should be removed to keep the light chimney open. This clear area allows light into the center of the tree. Some apple varieties, such as Golden Delicious and Pink Lady, predominantly bear fruit on the end of the one-year-old shoots. These are known as tip bearers. Other varieties, such as Granny Smith and Full Red cultivars, bear their fruit on spurs. It's important to prune the tree accordingly. Let's have a look at the tip bearers first. Generally when pruning, one would begin by removing all damaged and dead wood and strong upright one-year-old shoots that cannot be used. Then remove forks or branches growing off the Solax branches that are 50% as thick as the Solax branches. Golden Delicious is a tip bearer with apples growing on tips of one-year-old wood. Leave short one-year-old wood with a terminal reproductive bud on the tree. It's important to have at least two or three rejuvenating cuts per structural limb to create one-year-old wood for the next year that will bear fruit. Cut the previous year's bearer back to two or three buds. The shoots that grow from these buds will bear apples in the next season. Fuji is similar to Golden Delicious except that cuts are never made into the two-year-old spurred up wood as this would tend to make the tree over vigorous and put it into an alternate bearing cycle where it only produces a crop every second year. When a bearing unit is too old or too thick it is removed entirely. Pink Lady is very much a tip bearer, so one would like to have as much short one-year-old wood as possible to produce terminal fruit. Those are the main tip bearing varieties. Now let's have a look at the spur bearers. Sundowner is a spur bearer and is pruned in a similar way to Pink Lady, except that more cutting back into the two-year-old spurs is done mainly as a thinning tool because Sundowner is a heavy bearer and we need to reduce the number of spurs that are left in the tree. Royal Gala bears on two-year-old or older spurs. Both shoot development increases fruit size and should be encouraged. We cut back to a reproductive bud, which the bud was there. That bud flowers and in the mixed fl uh, flower bud, you get the shoot, which is a ball shoot, and there was the fruit with the stem. So why are we cutting back is to make sure we have enough vigor to create a ball shoot. Cut back there, we need one-year-old wood. A nice Leave there. short one-year-old shoots to spur up for the following year. When they've spurred up in the following year, cut them back to a fat reproductive bud in the two-year-old wood. Cut back to a fat reproductive bud there, fat reproductive bud. The thinner the unit, the harder it is cut back because you want some vigor in that unit. The unit can crop for between two and four years and then it would be cut away totally to rejuvenate some new one-year-old growth. Forks and competing branches must be removed. In Royal Gala trees, a lot of cutting back into the two-year-old spurred up units is done. This creates a little more vigor in the tree to encourage boss shoot growth and to improve fruit set. It's an easier prune in a way, but very different to Golden Delicious. Granny Smith 
can crop for many years on old spurs. It does well on old spurs and as long as there is enough vigour in the old spurs, it will crop for many years. Pruning of grannies tends to concentrate on getting light management right. Strong, upright one and two year old shoots are removed along with dead or damaged wood in the tree. The strong, upright one year old shoots are known as fishing rods and the two year old and older shoots are known as broomsticks and all the fishing rods and broomsticks should be removed from the tree. A trick that has worked well if one wants to get them into bearing and they're not producing as many flowers as one would like is to crack the one year old wood 10 centimeters above the join with the older wood. Crack it halfway and the next year it will be spurred up totally and produce flowers. If you leave the one year old wood it will become a broomstick the next year. If it is cracked it spurs up very well. There is very little rejuvenation on grannies. The pruner concentrates on getting light into the tree and getting as many spurs on the tree as possible. Some cutting into two year old and older wood in the outer canopy can be done to encourage new shoot growth to create a leafy canopy for sunburn control. Brayburn will crop on old wood for many years, so we concentrate on light management, removing thick and offensive branches, but leaving all other wood to carry a crop. Do not cut back into the two-year-old and older spurred up units. We do not want to stimulate new growth. As trees don't come from a factory and each variety has its own requirements, please note that all of our pruning programs are there to give the general theory related to the pruning activity. Please adapt the information to your own situation and chat to a consultant who can advise you in your orchard if you have further queries.